Our journey begins approximately 7 to 6 million years ago where Sahelanthropist Cadensis roamed in Chad, Central Africa. They can walk upright on two legs instead of on four legs. Their body shape was more akin to that of apes. Their height ranged around 4.3 to 5 feet. They have small canine and incisor teeth like Artipithecus except for a few minor features. Their brain size is estimated at about 320 to 380 cubic centimeters, similar to that of a chimpanzee. They lived in a wooded environment near a lake, perhaps even in a swampy locale. It is presumed that this species was probably a plant eater. About 6.2 to 5.8 million years ago Oran Tugunensis live at Tugan Hills, central Kenya. Oran is bipedal with some features that suggest it may have retained adaptations for climbing, as seen in its relatively long arms. It has a mix of ape-like and human-like features. Oran stands at a height of 3.7 to 3.11 feet. It lived in the forested habitats and vast grasslands. It eats plant foods, such as fruits, leaves, and other vegetation available in the forested or wooded environment. And uses simple tools including twigs, sticks and other plant materials that were easily shaped or modified. Around 5.8 to 5.2 million years ago, Artipithecus cadaba lived in the middle Awash Valley, Ethiopia. This species is known only from teeth and fragments of skeletal bones. It is estimated to have stood at a height of around 3 to 4 feet. Artipithecus cadaba inhabited a closed, dense forest environment, near lakes, rivers, and swampy floodplains. Their diet consisted of hard-to-eat foods, such as fibrous nuts and a variety of other fibrous foods. Around 4.4 million years ago Artipithecus ramidus roam around in Middle Awash and Ghana, Ethiopia. This species had relatively long arms, suggesting some adaptation for climbing trees. However, evidence from the femur, thigh bone, indicates that it was also capable of bipedalism, meaning it could walk on two legs. Artipithecus ramidus stood at a height of approximately 3.7 to 3.11 feet. Its habitat was a mosaic environment, consisting of woodlands and grasslands. In terms of diet, it consumed relatively soft food items such as fruits, young leaves, and shoots. Between 4.2 to 3.8 million years ago, Australopithecus anamensis inhabited areas surrounding Lake Turkana in Kenya and Middle Awash in Ethiopia. It displayed a mix of primitive traits, including projecting faces and canine teeth, while also showing a slightly more upright posture compared to earlier species. Estimates suggest that Australopithecus anamensis stood at a height of approximately 4 to 5 feet tall. It resided in forests and woodlands adjacent to an ancient inland lake that once existed in the basin where Lake Turkana is now located. The Anamensis had a diverse diet, consuming seeds, sedges, grasses, leaves, corms, fruits, and tubers. Likely, it utilized simple tools made from twigs, sticks, and other plant materials, which were easily shaped or modified, to obtain food. Between 3.85 to 2.95 million years ago, Australopithecus afarensis lived at Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, in Eastern Africa. It has a projecting face, an upright stance and a mixture of ape-like and human-like body features. Males were typically larger, standing around 4 to 5 feet, while females were shorter, averaging about 3.5 to 4 feet. It lived in a mix of habitats, including woodlands, savannas, and gallery forests, which provided a variety of food resources. Its teeth show evidence of adaptations for consuming both plant-based foods, fruits, leaves, seeds, and some animal matter, insects, small vertebrates. Around 3.5 million years ago Kenyanthropus platyops lived in Western Kenya, Kenya, Africa. It's characterized by a relatively flat and broad face and elongated ape-like molars. 
Based on comparisons with other known hominin species, speculatively it may have been around 3 to 4 feet tall. It lived in an environment that was a mixture of grassland and wooded habitat. It is presumed that the species was herbivorous, but the exact types of plants it ate are uncertain. During the period spanning 3.3 to 2.1 million years ago, Australopithecus africanus inhabited the region of South Africa. This species exhibited a more rounded skull and less prominent brow ridges in comparison to earlier Australopithecus species. Australopithecus africanus was uniquely adapted for both bipedal walking and arboreal climbing. Estimates indicate that they stood at a height of approximately 3.5 to 4.5 feet tall. Its habitat was characterized by a mix of grasslands and tree-covered areas. In terms of diet, Australopithecus africanus consumed a mixed array of plant materials, including soft and tough items such as fruits, leaves, seed. Between 2.7 to 2.3 million years ago, Paranthropus ethiopicus lived in Turkana Basin of northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia. Combination of ape-like and human-like features standing about 4 to 5 feet tall. Paranthropus ethiopicus is thought to have lived in mixed savanna and woodland. It is believed that they had a diet that included tough and fibrous plant materials, such as hard seeds, nuts, and plants with high amounts of silica. Around 2.5 million years ago, Australopithecus garhai lived in Buri, Middle Awash, Ethiopia. Australopithecus garhai had a combination of ape-like and human-like features. Skull is projecting lower face. Australopithecus garhai had a combination of ape-like and human-like features. It likely is around 4 to 5 feet tall. Australopithecus garhai lived in a savanna with open grasslands and scattered trees which would have provided both plant-based foods and opportunities for scavenging or hunting for meat. It most likely ate plant material and possibly some meat. If the antelope bones found at the site were butchered by this species, then they must have included significant amounts of meat and marrow in their diet. One of the most intriguing findings associated with Australopithecus garhai is the discovery of stone tools consisting of sharp-edged flakes and cores. Between 2.4 m to 1.4 million years ago, Homo habilis lived in Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, and possibly other regions in eastern and southern Africa. It has relatively thin and high skull, small brain volume, and large teeth molars. It has more upright posture and bipedal gait, but their arms were relatively long compared to their legs suggesting some adaptation for tree climbing. It is estimated to be around 4 to 5 feet tall. They lived in a savanna grassland covered with scrub and bush and some woody plant cover. It consumed mix of plant-based foods, fruits, nuts, leaves, seeds and roots, as well as animal-based foods, such as insects, small mammals. Homo habilis is associated with the Olduin stone tool culture, which includes simple stone tools such as flakes and choppers. These tools were likely used for various tasks, including processing plant materials and accessing animal resources. Between 2.3 to 1.2 million years ago, Paranthropus guase lived in Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Malawi. Paranthropus boise had a robust and sturdy build with a large, dish-shaped face. It had prominent brow ridges and a projecting jaw, which earned it the nickname, Nutcracker Man. Its height is around 4.5 to 5.5 feet tall. They coexisted with other hominin species. Paranthropus boise lived in a diverse range of habitats, including grasslands, savannas, and woodlands in East Africa. It is primarily herbivorous and had a specialized diet that included tough and fibrous plant materials. Its powerful jaws and large molars were adapted for grinding and chewing coarse vegetation. Between 1.98 to 1.97 million years ago, Australopithecus sediba lived in South Africa. It exhibits a mix of primitive and derived features, including smaller incisors, reduced cheekbones, and a less pronounced brow ridge. A. Sediba shows evidence of bipedalism in its lower back curvature but also has a peculiar gait involving hyperpronation of the ankle. Its body shape was more akin to that of apes. 
The adult height is 4 feet 11 inches, 5 feet 1 inch. They lived in generally flat landscape with a patchwork of grasslands and woods. The woodland environment of South Africa started to dry out about 2.5 million years ago, leading to the spread of savanna grasslands. A. Sedaba seems to have eaten only C3 forest plants such as some grasses and sedges, fruits, leaves, and bark.